Today I'm showing you how to knit the loop stitch, which adds a really fun loopy texture to any knitting project. So let me show you how to do it. So in this case, I'm knitting the loop stitch every other stitch, but you can knit it every stitch. You'll just end up with more loops. So I'm knitting the first stitch here. Then I will knit the loop stitch. So knit like normal, pass the yarn around. Instead of sliding off your needle, go down around your thumb, up back between the needles and knit into that stitch on the left needle once more. And you let both of those drop off. And as you see, because you knit into that stitch two times, you end up with two loops on your right needle. So to resolve that, pass the second stitch on the right needle over the first stitch on the right needle. And you're back to just one loop. So let me show you again. I'm going to knit one stitch, do the loop stitch. So wrap the yarn around as normal, but then down around your thumb at any length. You can make it super long or super short. Back up between the needles, knit into that stitch on the left needle once more, and pass both of those off. On the right needle, pass the second stitch over the first one back to one loop. I'll show you one more time. So knit, pass the yarn around your thumb, back up between the needles for the loop, knit into that left stitch or stitch on the left needle once more, and pass both off. Then pass the second stitch on the right needle over the first stitch. And there you have the loop knitting stitch.